Are you kidding? Trained. I'm classically trained, but they don't even let my mom sing in church. Really? <laughs> no, she's terrible. <laughs> so you're kind of the first in the family to, to I, have this instrument. I am. And, um, so you're used to what? I, I'm a musical mutt. That's what I say. <laughs> oh yeah. When, when did you know you had something special? When I was six years old, and I used to give concerts to my parents' friends, and I knew every re every word off the Helen Ready I Am Woman album and the yeah. Ray Charles Hit the Road Jack album. When did you discover Anna? About the time I was six, my, my dad was a roadie for the Tams and some of those beach bands and Etta was working the beach circuit and he had a couple of her CDs and, and from the minute I heard her do Tell Mama, I loved her. So I, I've never seen Facebook. I gravitated towards her too because when I started developing my style, her and Diane Schur were the two that, that really stood out as people that I felt like I could comfortably sing their songs and it just kind of grew from there. Too. Yes, on this album we have eight originals and uh, six covers. Um, you just performed on the stage where Matt uh, Ennis performed with Janis Joplin. Um, somewhere up there there's probably still the, the, the burn marks from Jimmy Harris. Seriously, you know, that's the place. That's just mind blowing. When you think about that, yeah, how, how, how big that thrill you just have? When you, when you think about it in that context. Adrenaline rush, surreal, um, humbling, humbling. But it's such a, it's such a, just, I mean, it makes me, <laughs> it just makes me feel like, oh my God, how did this happen to me? And I, I, just, I get kind of, kind of overwhelmed, but in a really good way. Oh, there it is. Right you know, it's not, it's not, it's not overwhelmed in a bad way. It's overwhelmed, like, I feel blessed. Do you, do you, are, are you on a like a whirlwind ride right now? At this point in your life, is this the most exciting part of your life right now? Definitely. I mean, I was. Okay. I thought I was going to give up. Since, I mean, it was just really hard to get jobs, and you know, I was pretty much resigned to being a housewife. Yeah, Some of my jazz, my jazz people. I've been singing for twenty years, and they were like, you know, Paul, you're not really a jazz singer. And I was like, well, what am I? And they're like, you're a blues singer. And I said, well. Who do you consider to be jazz singers? And they're like Diana Krall and Nora Jones. I said, no, you're right, I'm not a jazz singer. I said, well, who do you consider to be blues singers? And they're like, Etta James. I was like, you're right, I'm a blues singer. <laughs> so, I mean, who, who would have thought? Everybody says you're done if you're not a hit by the time you're 25 in the music industry. At 46, I'm living proof that it's never too late to learn and start something new. Where in South Carolina did you grow up and how did you find this? Clemson, South Carolina, and it's at least